In the early months of 2020, right before the COVID-19 shutdowns began, I thought it would be a cool idea to go and find the houses that the Van Halen brothers first moved to and grew up in when they moved to the U.S. from the Netherlands. I also wanted to find the house that David Lee Roth used to live in and still lives in today because I heard that it's in the same city and also wanted to find this famous sidewalk carving that the Van Halen brothers did outside of a liquor store before the band blew up. Now, a lot of people in Pasadena up until recently were not aware, or at least the new generation was not aware that the band Van Halen originated from this city and became really popular in the 70s and then blew up. In the early months of 2020, Van Halen had become one of those bands where they were known as classic rock. So a lot of the new generation was not even aware of them. But recently, with Eddie Van Halen's passing away, I started seeing some of these sites that I'd visited that I thought nobody really cared about in the early part of this year come back to life again. I started seeing pictures of memorials and tributes and all sorts of cool things that people have been doing to honor Eddie Van Halen and the band Van Halen. So I thought now would be a cool time to finally edit and upload this video that I shot in the early part of 2020 and also to add some new footage and some new pictures of the memorials that people have been doing for Eddie Van Halen. Hey everyone, this is Hash, and today I'm going to show you guys where the band Van Halen originated from in the United States. First, I'm going to show you the apartment that the Van Halen brothers moved to in 1962 when they immigrated from the Netherlands. Now, we are in the city of Pasadena. This is part of Los Angeles County. So the Van Halen brothers moved here on a steamship in 1962 that took them nine days to come from the Netherlands to New York and then they traveled by train to California. The first place that they moved to, they shared one bathroom for three different families. This area today, in 2020, is actually a desirable part of the city. A one bedroom, one bath apartment is about $2,000 a month. So I'm pretty sure it's changed quite a bit from what it used to be. So we're looking for 486 South Oakland Avenue. That is where they used to live. So let's find this place. All right, so we're looking for 486 South Oakland. There's 478 and there's 488. It has to be here somewhere. That's 488. There's 486. Alright, so it looks like I found it, 486 South Oakland Avenue. Now I'm going to go across and I don't want to make the residents uncomfortable so I'm going to shoot from the street. It's right behind me. Here is 486 South Oakland Avenue. The first place the Van Halen brothers moved in in 1962 when they moved to the States. Eddie Van Halen was 8 years old back then. They took a 9 day steamship ride from the Netherlands to the United States. They played music on the ship to play for their fare, and their father was a musician as well. There's a really cool picture that I saw online of the family that I'm going to post in this video. After being here for a few years, they moved to the Van Halen headquarters, which again is in Pasadena, and that was in 1966, and I'm going to show you guys that place as well. So from what I read, the Van Halen father would walk six miles to a hospital in Arcadia, which is a city nearby, to wash dishes. So it seems like things weren't really working out for them at first. He was a struggling musician and he really wanted his kids to be musicians as well. And he started getting them piano lessons when they lived back over here. All right, so to give you guys some more information about the property we just saw, where the brothers first lived, that property today is worth about $620,000. It's a two bed, two bath condo right now. I don't know what it was back then. From what I read, it did seem like three families were living there and sharing one bathroom. It was built in 1956 and it last sold for $44,000. So I'm pretty sure that neighborhood looked very different than it is today in 2020 compared to when they moved there in 1962. So it seems like they moved there right when it was built. It was built in 1956. 
So from here, I'm going to take you guys to a place that's probably five minutes away. It's about a mile away. And that is David Lee Roth's house that he's lived in for the last 30 years here in Pasadena. And after that, I'm going to take you guys to the Van Halen headquarters, which is the place that the Van Halen brothers moved to from here when they started the band and started getting popularity here in Los Angeles and in Pasadena. Okay, so here we are in a very nice part of the city, once again in Pasadena. And you can tell that the houses here are a lot nicer than where we were just at, where there were more apartments. And this is where David Lee Roth's mansion is. He's been here for over 30 years. This place is worth about $8 million or so. I will make sure that I check that number and give you guys an accurate figure. But let's check this place out. While doing some research about this house, I found out some really cool information. Now today, this house belongs to David Lee Roth. Before that, it belonged to David Lee Roth's father. And before that, it belonged to someone called J.E. Tilt. J.E. Tilt built this house in the early 1920s. And this house is considered a historical landmark in the city of Pasadena. The house is called the J.E. Tilt House. Now I was able to find some newspaper clippings about J.E. Tilt. He had a shoe company, and a lot of the news clippings are about his factory workers going on strike. It seems as they had factory lockouts back then. What they would do is they would lock out workers who were 5 or 10 minutes late to work as punishment, so they would lose a whole day's worth of pay. Also, what they would do is they would reduce women's pay, not men's pay, just women's pay, so they could compete with their competitors. So a lot of the clippings revolve around this. I was also able to find some ads for the J.E. Tilt Shoe Company from the late 1800s and early 1920s. In the 80s, there was a new special done on this house that featured David Lee Roth's father. He called this place Rothwood. Now, in the end of this video, pay close attention to the staircase that his father is walking down from. The finest ophthalmologist specializing in retinal surgery and the treatment of diabetes caused eye disease. His public know him as a stage and screen actor who's appeared in many movies, including Coma. And as any fan of the Van Halen rock group knows, Nate Roth is the father of David Lee Roth, who is one of the hottest rock stars around. Dr. Roth is also a multi-millionaire. I like old homes and old property. That's all I've ever really invested or put money in, and that's turned out well. One of his two mansion-styled homes in elegant Pasadena, California. That staircase is in a lot of Van Halen pictures. This house served as a backdrop for a lot of Van Halen's famous pictures, as well as for the album cover of Women and Children First. You'll also see this house in some interviews with David Lee Roth. And after he left the band Van Halen, he continued to use his house and the garden of his house as a backdrop for his other musical projects. How you doing, everybody? I'm Jim Ladd, and I'm sitting here in Pasadena, California, with Napoleon Bonaparte's alter ego, David Lee Roth. So right behind me is the beautiful mansion that David Lee Roth has lived in for over 30 years here in Pasadena. This place is worth over $6 million right now. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That wasn't on purpose, that was kind of scary. Right, so the street that I'm on right now is where David Lee Roth lives. It is a 10 bedroom, 8 bath mansion. It was last sold in 1991 for $1.3 million. And he has been here for more than 30 years now. All right, so here I am in Pasadena, and I'm on the street where the Van Halen brothers grew up on after 1966. Now, this is the house where the two brothers lived in when they started the band and when they started becoming popular here in Pasadena and in Southern California. Now, the home that they lived in was a two-bed, one-bathroom. 
from what I looked at, it's worth about $650,000 today. Back then, I'm not sure what it was worth. And from a listing that I saw, it was for rent at $2,750 a month a few years back. Now, I do know that there's a liquor store here somewhere where they carved their last name, Van Halen, on the sidewalk. And I'm also going to go and try to figure out where that is. All I could find out was that it was very close or about a block away or down the street from where they lived. So that means that it has to be here somewhere. All right, so here I am. I'm actually now right in front of the house where the Van Halen brothers moved to in 1966. Now this is where they started the band and this is where they started becoming popular here in Pasadena and in Southern California. And here's what this place looks like after Eddie passed away. Come on in. So this is the childhood home, obviously, where I was a few months ago and there was nothing here. It didn't look like anybody even knew that here he lived. But this is cool now. All this stuff is here. All right, so now I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna to try to find where the brothers carved out Van Halen on the sidewalk. From what I read, there is a liquor store down the street from them where they made a carving of Van Halen on the sidewalk. So let's go and try to find that. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm walking down the street and I'm looking for a liquor store because from what I read, there's a liquor store where the brothers used to hang out at or at least buy a liquor from where they carved Van Halen onto the sidewalk. And it has to be within walking distance, so I'm going to go to the first liquor store that I can find and I'm going to start looking for carvings of Van Halen on the pavement. So let's find this. So I'm looking on the sidewalk right now for carvings. Whoa! Here it is. Here's the Van Halen carving. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I found the Van Halen carving right here. I didn't realize it would be this close. This is literally down the street from where they live. And there's a liquor store here somewhere because that's where I knew to look, that that was the landmark. And there it is, M&S Liquor. Let's walk up to the store.